channel real quick I have this uh, 2010 Chrysler 300 as you can see it has the 3.5 liter V6 now I got a couple of ignition codes cam sensor and crank sensor <laughs> but what I want you to look at because I don't think um, this is a good idea and I don't think you should do this so what I want to alert you on is things like this okay now this guy is probably a do-it-yourselfer or even maybe his mechanic maybe was trying to fix I don't know but anytime you do this first of all this is the wrong cam sensor if you go to the parts department Chrysler parts department try to get a cam sensor you would get one that looks like this hence the reason why they left the original connect on them that goes into them but I can only assume he went to the salvage yard and got a cam sensor out of any car uh, which would probably work uh, as evident it drove in so it obviously did work but the only problem the connector wouldn't fit in there so he just spliced in a connector to fit this cam sensor ladies and gentlemen the way this is set up this is dangerous okay these are actually live wires at this point they out in the open hypothetically if they touch each other one's a power supply one's a ground and one's a return signal return they touch each other you could easily easily burn out the computer burn out a driver short out a driver inside the computer do not do this even if you tape this up that's still dangerous uh well I mean the best thing to do is to get the right stuff so I mean I don't know the situation I don't know why they didn't get it, it might have been an emergency so who am I to judge anybody but if you've done this if you do stuff like this you, you gotta try to uh, eliminate doing it this way if you can't get the original sensor okay let me put it like this if you're gonna do it like this because of any type of emergency tape it up at least it's too exposed like I say if they touch each other you could easily arc out a driver inside the PCM. All right, so what I'm about to do is put in the correct cam sensor. I have a crank sensor here too. I tend to do them both at the same time for some reason. I think I got burnt one time and I've been scarred ever since. So now I do them both. Uh, you don't have to. It's just the way I do it from now on. So I'm gonna eventually take this out, put in the correct one and re-splice or rewire this harness the correct way, okay? So it, yes, it set several fault codes and uh, it's running bad. So I got to start there. We have this thing in the dealership where we use the term start here. In other words, we got to do something and then take the diagnosis a step further if we have to. Okay, that way we leave the door open. Okay, because no one's perfect. No one knows exactly what would fit your car. Quite frankly, everything you do on a car is uh, considered start here because you don't know Man, this stuff is handmade, uh, man-made. You don't know what's, I don't care how much training you got. Sometimes even following the book to specs and following everything the way it's supposed to, you still could run into trouble. So without me getting off subject, let me end this right here. Get this fixed, get this spliced in. No reason for me to record it. All I'm doing is going back in with the correct cam sensor and re-splice this harness so I can use the original connector and get this out. All right, so that's all I have, man. Thanks for watching comment subscribe and uh, try not to do something like this but if you have to at least tape it up all right that's all i have man thanks for watching